Hi everyone, Angela here. What's great about this sun hat is that you can easily adjust the size with this back bow. Just tie it as tight as you need. My fabrics are 100% cotton that I've washed, dried and pressed. Lay the fabric together matching the selvage edges and with the right sides up. The link for my pattern is available down in the description below. Lay your pattern pieces down following the grain lines and cut out. At the bottom and top of the center of the brim, cut out small triangular notches. Repeat for the inner notches at the sides. For the tops of the hats, cut small straight notches at the sides, but for the bottom and top of the oval, cut triangular notches. This way you can easily identify the top and bottom. Also cut out triangular notches in the center at the top and bottom of the front crown pieces. I'm using my little 18mm rotary blade to cut out the back opening. Cut a small straight notch at the center of the opening and then a triangular notch at the top of the crown. Next we need two of these straps for the bow. I'll fold my contrast fabric in half and cut two along the lengthwise grain. Fold each strap in half right sides together matching the edges and then pin or clip in place. To give the sun hat some body, I'm using a medium weight fusible interfacing with the glue on one side. We only need to interface one of the top and crown pieces, but both of the brim pieces. Then cut out all the notches as before, and also the back opening on one of the crown pieces. Place the glue side of your interfacing onto the wrong side of your main pieces and iron together. You can also attach the interfacing to the fabric before cutting out all the notches. Trim away any excess interfacing to keep your seam allowances accurate. At the sides, pin or clip the front and back crowns with right sides together. Then put the brim pieces right sides together and pin or clip around the outer edge. I'm using a Brother NV50S sewing machine. The link for this and the tools I use are in the description below. Make sure to use coupon code NOTCHESNV50S for the special offer. With a 3 8 of an inch or 10 millimeter seam allowance, stitch the side seams together, back tacking at the start and finish. Next, using a quarter of an inch or 6 millimeter seam allowance, stitch around the outside of the brim. If you're finding this video helpful, make sure to like, share, subscribe, and turn on all notifications, and also leave a comment below. Using a 3 8 of an inch or 10 millimeter seam allowance, stitch together the sides of the straps. Back tack at the start and finish and also pivot at the corners. Trim all the corners on an angle, making sure not to cut the stitching. To turn the straps right side out, push the closed end in and then use a knitting needle or a chopstick to push it through. Then use the pointy end to carefully push out the corners. If you've seen some of my other videos, I also use a paper towel holder to turn tubes and pull straps right side out. Roll and adjust the seams so that they're right in the center and press the straps flat. If you want, you can edge stitch around the straps. Along the top edges, cut small notches 3 quarters of an inch or 2 centimeters apart on both pieces. This will make it a lot easier to attach the top. Turn the brim right side out and pull on each side nice and taut. Use a rounded edge tool to push out the seam. With the seam in the center, press along that outer edge. If your inner edges aren't even, just trim them down. There's the back of the crown. Now if you have a directional fabric for the top, match the back notch with the back notch of the crown. Clip that in place and then turn the head around and clip the front notches together. Next, match the side notches with the side seams and clip in place. 
Spread open the seam allowance while matching the top edges, clip all around and then repeat with the contrast fabric. Pin or clip the inner edges of the brim and then set your machine for a slightly longer stitch. Then sew a holding stitch, quarter of an inch or six millimeters from this edge. Next edge stitch about an eighth of an inch or three millimeters around the outer edge. Now you can leave the brim as is or decide how many more rows of top stitching you would like. I'm going to use the right side of my presser foot to follow along each row to top stitch the entire brim. As you get closer to the top of the brim, just take your time to go around those smaller curves. With the brim folded in half, cut small notches across that inner edge to the holding stitch. Again, this will make it easier to attach to the sides. Stitch the tops to the sides of the hat using a 3 8 of an inch or 10 millimeter seam allowance. There's no need to back tack, just overlap your stitching about an inch at the end. Starting from the center back, have all the seam allowances on one side towards the crown. Edge stitch about an eighth of an inch or three millimeters from the edge, back tacking at the start and finish. Repeat with the contrast fabric. On the center back of the main fabric, mark half an inch or 12 millimeters up on each side of the opening. Then take each strap and place the edge with the seam on that mark and pin in place. Turn it around and put the ends inside. With right sides together, place this inside the contrast fabric. Turn it around with the main fabric facing you, line up the edges of the opening and clip in place. Next sew a quarter of an inch or six millimeter seam, back tacking at the start and finish. By the way, these six inch Kai embroidery scissors are just excellent for cutting small notches. Cut about every half an inch around that inner curve of this opening. Separate the two pieces with the contrast fabric right side out. Take the brim and with the right sides of the contrast fabric together, match the center front triangle notches and pin in place. Match the side triangle notch with the side seam and pin in place. The end of the brim should match up with the seam of the opening. Pin that in place and continue all around to the other side. Because the contrast fabric doesn't have any interfacing or top stitching, it may seem like it's too wide for the brim. Just straighten and stretch out the inner edge of the brim a little bit to match all around. Push the brim inside to complete the pinning. Stitch 3 8 of an inch or 10 millimeters from the edge to hold in place. There should be a little bit of distance between the stitch line and the edge of the strap. Put in the straps and the main fabric and then flip it all over so that the contrast fabric is on the inside. Match all the seams and notches and clip all around. Start by stitching about an inch in right on top of the previous stitching, back tacking at the start and finish. Then skip over leaving an opening about four or five fingers wide and then continue stitching, back tacking at the start and finish. Turn the hat right side out and neatly adjust all the seams. Turn in the seam allowance at the opening and place the fold just on top of the stitch line to cover it and pin it in place. Start with your needle an eighth of an inch or three millimeters in from the edge of the opening. Edge stitch all around, back tacking at the start and finish. Make sure to pull both sides of the seam taut as you're sewing. When you get to the other end of the brim, pivot and edge stitch around the curve of the opening. With this method, there's no need to hand stitch or machine stitch an obvious seam on the inside. To learn how to make a really easy reversible bucket hat, watch my tutorial here next. Thanks again for watching and happy sewing!